can see it, but it's absolutely clean, squeaky clean. And I've got to do something with it. Now, what I would choose to do is to give it the whole box and dice. To use the restorer finish and then come along with the orange oil and the feed and wax and do the whole thing. I'll do that on a section to show you how easy it is. I've now got it dry and it looks pretty good. Let's take some restorer finish. Get my fine steel wool. Here it is over here. And I'll just rub it down with that. Because it's not very scratched and is now very clean, this will be easy. I'll just put it on like so. You'll see as I move, if I've got it in the right angle, you'll see the grain coming up. I'll just put it on very quickly. Go over the whole lot just like that. Going with the grain wherever possible, when it's not possible, like there. And look, that's a bit of inlay. See that inlay? Don't worry about inlay. Don't worry about colours. You don't have to say, oh, look, it's, it's light and it's dark, and maybe this dark colour is going to change it. It's not. It's going to bring it all down to one particular tone. So there you have it. And here's some little scratches and marks over here. Got any more scratches and marks? Look at this down here. Let's see if we can just fix that up. Can't do much with that because that's actually a piece out of the wood. But up here, there are quite a few marks. And that'll simply disappear. I'll have a go at that. All I've got to do now is to wipe that down with a piece of dry cloth. If I can find one in my workshop, I can never quite find anything I want, but there's a relatively dry. I'll wipe that off. Have a look at that. From that grubby old piece of furniture, I've now got this quite magnificent. Here's the feed and wax. This is what I love to do, just put it on like so, rub it over the entire piece. Remember, what do I do now? I let it dry for 20